Happy Friday for South County. This is Beverly Adams, your A&R Program Assistant for the UGA Extension Office here for South County with our Pest of the Week Leaf Hoppers. Leaf hoppers can be common insects of lawns. They're small insects, typically less than a sixth of an inch, and are slightly wedge shaped. Their color is variable, but many of the more common turf grass species are generally light colored or brown. Normally, leaf hoppers are not noticed unless um, you look very closely at the grass blades. However, the winged adults may be seen when one walks across a lawn or mows. These activities may disturb the insects, causing them to fly, although they usually land only a few feet away. Immature stages can jump short distances, but are incapable of flying. And we notice some in the extension, um, at the extension office in our lawn yesterday as we were walking out to check the rain gauge. All stages of leafhoppers develop by sucking the sap from plants. Rarely are there any visible effects from leafhopper feeding on leaves, and damage is usually insignificant. At most, feeding may result in small whitish spots on the leaf. Several species of leafhoppers can be present in a lawn. They're a mixture of species that winter locally in lawns and those that migrate annually from more southern areas of the United States. All of those that develop on turf grass they insert their eggs into the leaf blade. The young nymphs hatch in a few days. Nymphs generally resemble adults in body form, but are wingless. They become um, full grown within weeks. So to the left, you'll see that is a leaf hopper nymph on a grass blade. So really they don't cause that much damage, but if you do have a lawn that is um, struggling and you get an infestation of of the leaf hoppers in there, they can cause some significant damage, so you want to be careful with that. Um, again, leaf hoppers cause very little, if any, injury to lines, but do attract attention and may be considered a minor nuisance. Control of leaf hoppers um, right now cannot be justified regarding concern about the health of the lawn. However, if desired, leaf hoppers can easily be controlled by many insecticides that can be applied as sprays to lawns, um, for example, delta methrin, permethrin, turf grass insecticides that move systemically in the plant, um, amid a clothrid and clothian den will also control leaf hoppers. And as with any insecticide, you want to make sure that it is safe to spray on your lawn or in your lawn before you apply it. And always read the label for application rates and um, use the proper protective equipment when applying. That is my pest of the week, leaf hoppers, which is a minor nuisance, but still a nuisance to some folks. This is our contact information. If you have any questions or need any help with any type of um, grass issues or tree issues, plant issues, bug issues, anything like that, please feel free to reach out to us. I hope you all have a great weekend. We'll be back next week with the beneficial insect of the week. Thank you.